In this lecture, we're going to discuss how to create a dual axis chart, one of the advanced charts that they use a lot in business. And so first let's talk about what a dual axis chart is. So in a dual axis chart, we can plot two types of data on the same chart. So in a traditional regular chart, we can only plot one type of data. So say you make a certain amount of money over a certain number of months, you see revenue in months. In a dual axis chart, we can look at revenue and another type of data. So in our example here, we'll be looking at financial data, like revenue and profit, and conversion rate at the same time. In order to visualize two types of data on the same chart, there's one pre prerequisite. Uh, the two types of data must share the horizontal axis. So here, time will be our horizontal axis, and both of these things are happening during the same time. So we can visualize them together because they're happening during the same time. If they were happening during, say, different times, it wouldn't make sense to visualize them over each other. So let's get started. Step one for creating a chart is to highlight all the data, including the titles. Uh, the second step is to just click Insert Chart, and we're using Excel 2016, and I click Recommended Charts. Here, Excel gives you a menu of charts they think would fit your data. But in our case, we're going to want to switch over to the All Charts tab, and then scroll down to the bottom where you see the Combo Chart. So Combo is the terminology Excel uses for dual axis. So here you see sort of a preview of what Excel wants to do with the data, but we don't see our conversion rate. So we know the conversion rate is different than sales and profit. So sales and profit are both financial data. So they can be plotted here on what we would call the primary vertical axis, but now we have a secondary vertical axis where we want to plot the conversion rate. So we need to tell Excel, okay, this data set here is for the secondary axis. So now you see we visualize these percentages and you can see that Excel has created a kind of a dual axis chart for us. It doesn't look pretty yet, but this is what we want to start with. So from here we can click OK. So just to take a look at our data before you edit the chart, we're looking at a company with, and if I click out, we, we will lose the chart editor menu. Um, we have a company with sales and profit over one year. And you can see that in some months, the company is very, very unprofitable. And in some months, the company is very profitable. Say, right here, you know, where it makes 84000 in revenue and 67000 in profit. Um, and also you can see over here, the conversion rate changes a lot. And it looks like there's a relationship between the profitability of the company and the conversion rate on the website. And the conversion rate is the percentage of people who come to a website and then ultimately decide to buy something. So we have this sort of peak in our conversion rate. And this is really the relationship that we want to look at with this chart. What's the relationship between conversion rate and net profit? So the first thing I always do when I'm editing a chart is I just increase the size of the chart a lot. I think it's easier just to look at and to edit if it's bigger. Um, in fact, I can even zoom out a little bit here so I can make the chart bigger. So there's two ways to edit a chart. So if we start, for instance, if we click off the chart, we can't edit anything. But if we click the chart once, we see the small chart tools menu. And we have a format tab where we can change things, change things like color. And we have a design tab where we can change the chart type and basic elements. But if you want to change more advanced elements of the chart, you actually have to double click the chart. This is sort of an unintuitive secret. Double click. And here you see another menu pop up. So if I leave the chart um, and say this is gone, if I just double click it once, we see our format chart area menu pop up. So the first thing that I want to do is I see these dates right here, but they're sort of floating in the middle of the chart and they don't look good. So we want to move them down to the bottom of the chart. So they're out of the way of the data. So we know this is our horizontal axis right here um, because it goes side to side, of course. So we want to change the label, where the label is. So here's our menu. Um, and here we have all of these different parts of the chart where we can edit. 
and I want to change the horizontal axis, something on the horizontal axis. So I click this, and then we have this submenu. We have fill in line, effects, size and properties, and axis options. I want to edit the axis, so I'll click here. And then if you look through, you can see labels. Well, our labels are in the wrong place. So label position, right now it's next to the axis, but we want to put them down low. Okay, so now if we sort of click back to the chart, now we can see that this, this looks much better. Okay, so now if we look over here, we see the scaling, meaning the space between each number, looks pretty good. You can tell it's financial data, it helps the bars make sense. We have the dates along the bottom. But here on our secondary vertical axes, the scaling is a little bit weird. Um, for our financial data, we see zero is here, sort of in the center of the chart. But for our conversion rate, we see zero at the bottom, which puts 1.5 here. And it's, it's sort of unintuitive to sort of figure out what's going on in the chart when your zeros are not, are not at the same place. So what I'd like to do is change the scaling here to try to get the zero to move towards the center of the chart. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'll go to the format chart area and we want to work on these secondary vertical axes. So just choose that from the menu. From here, we're looking to change the scaling of the axes. So if we go through our little menu, we want to go to axes options. And here under the first little triangle, if you click it, um, you'll see bounds, minimum and maximum bounds. This is where we can control the scaling of the axis. So minimum is 0, 0.0, which is 0%, so that's the lowest number we're seeing. Maximum is 0 0.05, which is 5%, and that's obviously the, num the number we're seeing here. So to get the 0 to move up, we need to enter a lower number than 0. So I'll try, for instance, um, negative 2%, negative 0 0.02. And to reset the chart, you need to click in another box. So now you'll see our, our axis has been rescaled with the zero closer to the center of the chart. And this actually looks pretty good to me. Now um, we have zeros on both sides. We won't have any questions about the scaling of the chart. And I think we can move on to the next subject. Now just looking at the chart, the next thing I want to do is add a label to this, uh, a, a title to the secondary vertical axis. I can tell down here, these are obviously dates. I don't need to put a box that says dates. I can tell this is obviously money. So I don't need to put a box that says, you know, money next to it. But these percentages are a little unclear. So I'd like to put something that says conversion rate data. So to do this, we're going to go up to this little chart tools menu. And you see format. Format, this is where you change colors and put shapes and things like this on your chart. And design is where you can change the chart type and add a lot of these little elements like titles. So we're going to go to axis titles and see if we can find a secondary vertical axis title. Down here you see secondary vertical. Click that. If I just double click this box and highlight it, I'm just going to add conversion rate. Okay, so now it's clear looking at the chart. This is a conversion rate. The last thing I'd like to do is add some scaling on the chart. So if I go to add chart element and um, grid lines, yes, grid lines. I want to just look at a few grid lines to see what this looks like and just choose one that helps make the chart clear. I'll choose primary ma major vertical. I like vertical lines because it helps us to sort of line up the dates with the data. Um, and then obviously at the very end, I will choose a title. Let's say financial performance versus conversion rate. Okay, so obviously at this point, we could change a lot of other things with the chart. We could change the colors, we could change the font size, we could change different types of scaling, but at this point, I'm happy with how it looks. I think if this is, if, if you bring something like this into a meeting with you, you could have a long, meaningful discussion about what this means. Okay, you know, why is it that when our conversion rate drops below 1.5%, the business becomes unprofitable? Should we be running the business year round? Should we be spending more or less on ads during certain months? You know, there's a lot of interesting subjects that you could begin to investigate. So that's the end of this talk on dual axis charts. If you'd like to learn more about Excel, please obviously subscribe to my YouTube channel or take a look at the link in the description below. I designed a 
a business Excel course on Udemy.com. It's focused on learning the 20% of Excel that you'll use for about 80% of your work. So if you're interested, please take a look, and thanks for watching.